there. Today I'm going to show you how to make these mushroom toes. It's super easy and super good. All right, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some mushrooms, some butter, some olive oil, some cheese, some homemade bread, garlic, onion, and some wine. I had red on hand, so that's what we're using, but this also works well with white wine. Then you're going to chop your mushrooms, your onions, and your garlic. For the mushrooms, I like to cut them in half and then do thin slices like you can see on the screen. For the onions, I like to do just thin slices, but that are quite short. And for the garlic, I like to do just thinly chopped. Here I'm just letting you, or this is a friendly reminder to always check for floor gremlins because they like to come steal your food. And floor gremlins can't eat garlic or onions, so we can't share the snack with them. Then in a nice saucepan, you're going to put some olive oil, and I like to put a little bit of butter into it as well because I find it goes really well with the mushrooms. And then you're going to cook your onions and your mushrooms together until they get quite dark and then you're going to add your garlic cook that some more until everything's nice and brown and then you're going to deglaze the pan which means you're just going to throw some wine in and you're going to take your wooden spatula and you're just going to scrape 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 right in that pan and try to get all the flavor that's stuck at the bottom of the pan into your mushrooms and this way also provides a really nice flavor to the mushrooms with the wine and then you're going to do this until all the wine is evaporated. And once that's done, you're going to start spooning your mixture onto your homemade bread that I know everyone's been busy making during this pandemic we're living through at the moment. And then on your toast, you're going to do a nice even layer of mushrooms. And then you're going to put your cheese. I had nice Parmesan and some brie at home. Um, so that's what I used and I actually really really like this so if you are doing some shopping for this um, I would recommend this. You could also swap the butter and the cheese for vegan options and this makes a really good vegan meal too. Um, but I do eat dairy a little bit for treats such as today so I did decide to put real cheese and real butter um, as a treat. And then once they're nice, you, you want to put it in the oven on broil and just keep an eye on it. You basically just want the cheese to melt and your toast to toast a little bit. Um, but you don't want to leave it in there for too long because it will burn or it will get um, too hard. So you just want to get it to the cheese is melting. And then we're going to try it. It's going to be really good, I bet. Mmm. If you don't like mushrooms, you're not going to like this. But it's really good. And I hope you love mushrooms. So I'm going to grab myself a nice glass of wine. Nice vintage wine. It's really good. It's a really nice bottle. It's a good year. And I'm going to go drink it over here by myself. Have a great night. Thanks for watching, friends. See you next time.